morning, it's your boy, y'all see me, y'all see the book. I'm finna get right to it. So Sunday, I get up, jump on my mountain bike, ride my three miles. I didn't ride hard. I'm kind of like, not leisurely, but you know, it's for a workout. Come home, take my jacket off hat, grab my gloves, my headphones, I go to the gym, start working out. So when I get to the ab machine, like I put 50 pounds on there, you pull it down, but when you're coming back, it's no pressure. You're pulling the weight down. So I take it from 50 to 40. When I pull down, I come back, pow! I feel and hear pop in my lower back. So I can barely walk. So I get up, I make it to a bench to stretch a little bit. I make it to my truck. Me being slow, I go get some gas. Don't ask me why I didn't have to figure out how I'm gonna get back in the truck. Go to urgent care, I'm standing up. I barely make it out of my vehicle to get into urgent care. I can sit down, but once I sit down, I can't get back, get back up. So Sydney come with her dad, they help me. They uh, get me home. She, I literally have to use a walker to make it in the house. And every couple steps I gotta stop because it hurts so bad. So, <clears throat> while I'm sitting there, I'm like in tears because I've never had that kind of pain before because it's the muscle in my back has, can, it's like instead of being like this, like they said, it contracted. So every time I move to safeguard itself, it contracts hard. That's what the, the doctors told me the muscle was doing. So that's doing that and it's not working out like I wanted to. So then I end up going to emergency that night. So they end up, you know, give me an IV and shoot me with some stuff and make me feel a little better. So when I get home the next day, and when I get home that night, then the next day, you know, I'm able to, I'm a little more ambulatory. I can move a little bit better today than I did yesterday, which is, you know, it's three days later. But my shot on that made me think about y'all because what I realized, <coughs> I have been building myself up to what happened bad to me. And let me, let me explain. See, I'm a barber. So when I'm at work, instead of me turning my body around, I got a bad habit of twisting. So by me twisting, I was already putting press, press, pressure on that muscle in my lower back. So instead of me turning around completely and grabbing whatever guards, whatever clippers I need, and, and to keep my body in correct position, ergonomically as they call it, I wasn't doing that. I was going ahead and abusing the lower part of my small, the small of my lower back. I was, I was the one making it to the point where it snapped the other day. So then I, I have got another door put on my truck, but I carried the old door out, but I had to put it on my right side, tweak it, carry it, put it in the garage. I'm saying this for a reason. So my shot on that was showing me something. Said The thing is, we can start doing little things and getting away from God, and we will never know it because we're, we're getting accustomed to doing stuff and becomes habit forming. Like, it's just being realistic, like, you'll start to pray less. You'll start to read less. You'll start to invite things that you normally wouldn't invite because... You're so used to do it, you become acclimated to it. And uh, I've, I've heard this before, and I believe it's a true statement. Anything that you can do for 30 days or more becomes a habit. So now that you're starting to form habits that are not good habits, you're starting to form bad habits. What I did was I created my own bad habit. So we can create things in our lives that aren't supposed to be there. See, thank you, Lord. What he told me is quit taking stuff for granted. Because when I couldn't move and I couldn't walk, I realized how much I took for granted because just being able to stand up straight, to be able to sit up like this, to be able to bend forward, to be able to sit back, to be able to just walk, take two steps. I could barely take two steps. We never think about how much we take for granted, how much we're really blessed with the little things because I remember at one point in time, I used to pray and thank God just for opening my eyes, for me being able to move, for my joints, for my ligaments, for me being ambulatory, but I got away from that. What he did was he allowed me to do this to myself. He didn't do it. So let's not start, you know, quick like, well, God, no, no, no. The devil didn't do it. God didn't do it. And two, like, let me thank you, Lord. Quit giving the enemy that much praise because that's what you're doing when you say, well, the devil didn't. Mm. Because you can pick up on a bad habit easy. And he don't even have to invite you to it. Because my thing is this, and this is what I know personally. Y'all may not believe me, y'all may not, but it's the truth. This is the thing. When you're doing something great for God, that's when the enemy comes after you himself. He got too many little demons and little knockoff guys to go send after you like, oh, he, yeah, he ain't doing much. But when you start being adamant about God, when you're standing in prayer, when you're reading your phone, and you're speaking the truth to others, that's when he's like, well, hold on, y'all can't, y'all ain't doing it. Let me go handle it myself. But as long as you're doing mediocre, why waste his time? He's like, I got somebody for that. Remember that. When you start doing more for God, the more you're going to be attacked. See, that attack on my body was because of things I did bad habits I created. See, I remember a, a person told me this years ago, right before we end, I just want y'all to remember this. He said, 93% of the stuff that happens to us is our own doing. 6% is the enemy. He said, 1% could God allow it.
Now, I want y'all to really think about that and let that sink in. Y'all know it's love. It's your boy, Harlem Shake. Next time, peace.